Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a little tip on how to make your TSM searches a lot better and a lot easier to use. Now, I'm surprised not many people actually know this, so this is why I'm making a video about it. And this will help with your TSM searching. So first of all, let's go ahead and open up the auction house. And I'm going to show you a little trick that you may not already know that makes when running shopping scans a lot better, especially when it comes to flipping and buying items. So for an example, let's just go ahead and select one of the groups here. Let's go ahead and do, let's do all the epic recipes. And let's run a shopping scan. Now as you can see, my shopping scan looks a lot different than yours more than likely. Now by default, you're only gonna see from this tab all the way back to this tab. So you have the item, the item level, the quantity, the time, the seller, the buyout, and the percent. Now you won't actually have all of these. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually add these extra tabs. And there's actually a lot more tabs that you can actually add than what I just have. I just have these set up for flipping because these are some very important things that I like to look at when buying items. But there's actually a lot of different things you can add. So first of all, you go over to these three dots right here and you want to click on them. And then what you can do is you can actually go to the first tab and this will bring up a drop down. And this is where you can start actually adding a bunch more different things to the columns. As you can see, there is a bunch of things. These are the most recent ones that I've used. But if you go ahead and click on this part right here where it says add price, values, source, column, and it has a bunch of other things that you can add. Now these are all very useful and some of these are actually very, very important to use. Now, the main ones that I like to use are DB market. So this is just the market value. They'll have DB in front of them when it's on the search, but if you go ahead and just look at the tool tip, um, it, this will just be the market value. So that's the market value for this realm. Then DB region market value average is just the market value average, the, well, the region market value average and this is the average price of the past 14 days across all of the realms on your region. And then I also like to use the DB region sale average. And this is the average price across all of the realms that an item has sold for over the past 60 days. So if you look on the tooltip, um, this is called the region sale average. It's the exact same thing. It's just um, named a little bit different when it's in these columns. And then you have the DB region sale rate. And this is just the region sale rate on the actual tooltip of each item. Now why this is so important and so useful to have is instead of having to scroll over every single item when you're wanting to buy an item to see if it's a good price or not, what you can do is you can just hover your way down and we can see this is the price that we're buying it for at the moment that someone has it listed for. We can see they have it listed for three gold the market value is 247 gold, the region market value average is 350 gold, and then the region sale average is 45 gold, and we can also see the sell rate, which is very, very useful. Instead of having to scroll over each item, which can be a bit tedious, you can just go ahead, hover over the item, and this will put a line across all of them, and you can quickly see if they're worth buying or not. So if we keep on scrolling down, let's actually just have a little look if there's any items. Obviously you could profit with those, but let's go ahead and see if there's an item with a bit more of a better profit margin that meets all three criteria. So the criteria I'm talking about is when I'm buying items, I wanna make sure the buy price is below the market value, the region market value average, and the region sell average, and it also has a decent sell rate. Depending on which category the item comes from, the, the sell rate can be a bit different to meet the requirements. But if we just go down, let's see if there's one that has a decent amount of profit that is worth buying. And the good thing about this is that you can just scroll down quickly. More than likely, the region sale average will be the lowest price because this, this is the price that item has sold for. And these two columns, so like your market value and then also your region market value average, this is just what they've been posted for. So a good price to go off, especially when flipping, is also looking mainly at the region sell average. So if we just scroll down here, obviously these two are higher and we could buy those, but there's not too much profit in those. So let's scroll down and see if we can find one with a decent amount of profit. So here's a good example right here. 
we could buy this for 10k that's what someone has it posted for the market value on this round is 68k the region market value which is the average price over the past 14 days across all the realms on this region it's 124 and then the region sell average is 33k so buying this for 10k is actually a really good deal now we can see the sell rate is kind of low but this is for recipes so this is actually a decent sell rate for recipes and as we can see we can click on it once again we see there's one posted for 10k and then there's one posted for 25k and one for 81k what I personally would do would just buy this cheaper one which is a 10k then I'd go ahead and I'd move this item to a different round to sell it um, that doesn't have competition that is posting at 25k I wouldn't actually go ahead and buy the one at 25k just because there's left less profit margin in actually buying that now we've bought that we'll see if there's any others that are just sitting here we might as well while we have the scan going and this makes it a lot quicker and a lot easier to find items when you're flipping because we can just scroll through here's another one the sell rate is still pretty low on this but this meets all the criteria. and um, so let's go ahead and see how many of these are actually posted so it's this one right here as you can see there's a decent amount of these there's six of these posted if you look under quantity three three so there's six of those posted at 3.5k and um, so the market value for this realm is 8.4 and then the region uh, market value average is 90k then the region side average is 7k so this is definitely an item I would be interested in. and I'm gonna buy all six of those out and then once we've brought the six out there's actually going to be one posted on this realm for 12k which I'll repost one of these ones we buy for 3.5 on this realm for 12.6k and then the rest of those will get spread out across the different realms using the warband bank but basically this isn't a flipping video I just want to show you that you can actually do a lot more than just having the normal default window with the columns that are just default and these actually are very useful even if you're just using TSM to buy items and figure out what items you want to buy say you're like a collector or something like that then this also can actually become very useful for you um, but the main main sort of people that this will benefit is definitely people that are doing flipping because it just makes the whole process a lot easier so just like that you can go ahead and change it using this right here and you can play around with all of the different things that you want to look at and there's a bunch of different options that you can actually go off which are all extremely useful now another thing just while we're talking about the shopping scan with TSM so this percent is currently going off the market value which is the average price over the past 14 days on this specific realm and items being posted if we go over to settings and we go down to operations and we want to go to shopping now if you have a shopping operation set up what you can actually do is you can come here and you can change what price data that percent is going off so for an example say we want to change it to the region market value average we can write in DB region market average and this will go ahead and change the percent to that now one of my favorite things especially when it comes to flipping I like to use the region sale average and this is a really good price point to go off now that we have that set up and obviously we have all of my groups connected to this operation what we can do is we can go ahead and we can scan again let's go ahead and scan the exact same group and now this percent is going to be going off the region sell average so this price right here and this will give us a lot higher percent and it's a lot harder to find a low percent because obviously the majority of the time the region sell average is the lower price but as you can see this will sort the percent by that and this will mean anything that is at the bottom right here is more than likely a lot better of a deal because it's going off the region sell average and you can do that with all the different price data that you see on there. You can do it with market value, the historical price, the region market value average, the region historical price, and also the region sell average if you wanted to. But this is just another tip which can also help with scanning just so you can sort it out by a different price data, which sometimes makes it a lot quicker and easier to go ahead and 
basically differentiate the good items and well, the good deals compared to the deals that aren't so good. And this really can help out. So that was just a few little tips about the shopping scan with TSM to help you out if you did not know already about them. Now if you want to actually learn what items are good for flipping, then you can go ahead and you can find all of that inside of my flipping guide which is an ebook or I've recently just finished a full training series or well, a full training course for flipping which has six hours of video footage teaching you everything you need to know about flipping in retail World of Warcraft. Now this is all set up for the War Within and you obviously get all of my groups and operations for TSM and also for Point Blank Sniper and also just some lists of the best items to go ahead and actually cross realm flip. So if you want to go ahead and check both of those out, there are both linked down below. And on top of that, if you want to get the premium TSM so you can have data across unlimited different realms, I also have a link that will save you 10% on the premium version of TSM and that will also be linked down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe because I'm going to be bringing out a lot more videos every single day. Take care.